I always tend to focus on software when it comes to desktop support, but there is a lot of roles out there where we would be doing a lot with hardware and we really can't forget about hardware. It's easy to think about systems and say, well, it's mainly software support that we're doing, but there is some tried and true practices that we're going to use to make sure our hardware is operating smoothly as well. If your desktop support role does involve supporting the hardware, then you need to understand that it's not just troubleshooting. That's what so many of us tend to think. It's like, oh, okay, we think there may be a problem with memory on the system, so let's run a memory check. And many times those tools will be built right into the operating system. Here's an example in Microsoft Windows where there's a Windows memory diagnostics test that we can run. But it's just not troubleshooting. That's what I really wanted to impress upon you in this nugget. Oftentimes, properly caring and feeding your hardware means that you are very proactive and you're doing preventative maintenance things. There needs to be dust kept out of the chassis in whatever device that you're working with. And we need to make sure that we are properly stocked with the appropriate cleaning tools and kits. We don't want to use Windex, for example, and a paper towel to clean some component, as this can often cause more problems than it can solve. So what I like to do now with my own personal systems even, is I like to just set reminders periodically for myself to do this hardware preventative maintenance stuff. So it might be every six months for my flight simulator desktop system. It might be every couple of weeks as far as my iPad goes, just to keep all the grime and the fingerprints off that screen so that I don't have problems with touch sensitivity. You get the ideas here. It's not just about troubleshooting. There is going to be things that we're gonna to want to work on so that we keep the hardware running perfectly. Uh, another great example is in the subject matter of batteries. We wanna be making sure that the battery that we're working with on a mobile type device is still healthy and we also want to be making sure that we follow the steps set out by the manufacturer to keep that battery operating properly long term. In a lot of cases, battery replacement isn't something that we can just do ourselves without voiding the manufacturer's warranty. And so when we go to the manufacturer for battery replacement, it can be an involved and sometimes expensive process. So we definitely wanna be doing everything we can to be ensuring that we care for these batteries in the hardware properly. So remember, you really do wanna be proactive, not necessarily reactive when it comes to caring for your hardware. Get yourself set up with some maintenance schedules if they're not already provided for you and let's keep dust and grime away from those components where it could do harm. Let's also make sure that we are operating in safety procedures as well, not only for ourselves, but also for the equipment. I hope this nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.